Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're finishing our mini series on the FRED for a hypothesis test for chi squared. So our last one is D, which is drawing conclusions. Now before we get into drawing conclusions, I just want to really quickly recap with the reject and fail to reject the null and how you got there and then we'll ultimately get to drawing conclusions because all of this is building. So we had the option of rejecting the null and we have another option which is fail to reject the null. And remember we said that that was the terminology we use instead of accept because when you do a hypothesis test, you're doing it to see if there's evidence against the null in favor of the alternative. You're not performing a hypothesis test to prove that the null is true. So you wouldn't want to say accept the null because we actually haven't done that. We would just say that there's not enough evidence to go against it. Now when you reject the null, this happens if you have a small p-value. So a p-value that is small. And if you need to, you can decide if the p-value is small by comparing the p-value, see if I can make a mini version of that, to alpha. And if it's less than or equal to alpha, which is, remember that level of significance, you can say that it's small. Now, having a p-value that is not small, so a p-value that's not small will cause you to um, fail to reject the null. And essentially that happens if you need to when a p-value is greater than the level of alpha, which remember is that level of significance. So that's the decision that we left off with, with the execute calculations. Now we're into drawing conclusions, okay? So always when you're drawing conclusions, particularly with a hypothesis test, your goal is to actually talk about how much evidence you have for the alternative. So you make the decision on the null, but in the end, you talk about how much evidence you have for the alternative. So if you said reject the null, and you're only going to end with one of the two hypotheses. If you left the null, would that mean you had evidence or you didn't have evidence for the alternative? Well, if you left the null, you have evidence for the alternative because you have to end up with having, um, end up with one of the two hypotheses. So here we would say, statistically significant evidence. And essentially, you're going to be saying that there's statistically significant evidence, you'll say for the population, and then essentially you are going to restate the alternative that you wrote up in front. So you're gonna say statistically significant evidence for this population and you'll restate it for that alternative. So in other words, you might say there's statistically significant evidence that GVSU students have an association between uh, year in school, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and how much they talk to their parents. So that's what you would be looking at in this scenario. The other scenario that we have is when you fail to reject. Well, if you fail to reject, that means you're not leaving the null. That means you do not have statistically significant evidence. So you'd say um, not statistically significant. And you always will say the population. So because these drawing conclusions are going to be talking about if you have evidence for this aspect of the parameter or population, you always refer to the population and you still will talk about your alternative. Now, this is something that people struggle with. They think if they're on the negative vibe that they're gonna stay on the negative vibe. So. We do not have statistically significant evidence that the population is, and they're tempted to say no relationship. But always when you're drawing the conclusion, you're going to be referring to the evidence you have for the alternative. You will simply address how much evidence you have. There's sufficient evidence or statistically significant evidence, or you do not have statistically significant evidence and 
it's for the alternative. So I always remind my students, at least, in drawing conclusions, always A, never no. So you'll never say no association when drawing a conclusion. You will always say A or an association or relationship. So that is the generic FRED for the chi-squared. In future videos, I will do examples so you'll be able to put, hopefully, some of these pieces of the puzzle together. See you there. Thank you.